contact each other. One of them ends up hung up on a rock 10 yards downstream, while the other one finds its way to the ocean, even though they were placed almost exactly in the same spot. One objection you'll often hear when talking about climate change is how arrogant to think we can affect the planet. It's only common sense that we're too small to have an effect. Too small to have an effect? Tell that to a virus or a mosquito in your bedroom when you're trying to go to sleep. In a complex system like the climate, very small differences can have huge effects. If you watch the video, The Nature of Science, you'll know that common sense is easily fooled and in no way is it a, and is no way to make a decision about a complex topic. Here's a slightly geeky example, but if you stick with me, it can be a pretty cool realization. Here's a graph made by a fairly simple calculation, but the calculation is run again and again. It's designed to do a very basic population simulation of rabbits or wombats or javelinas or whatever, and it turns out to behave like a complex system. Note that the population over here is not in whole numbers like you'd expect. You can take the vertical axis to be in millions if it makes you more comfortable, but the dynamics work out the same. Across the bottom we have generations, and each one represents one turn of the crank of our simple calculation. One generation. You can see that the population goes up and down in a way that looks random or chaotic. You couldn't be expected to look at this and predict what the population of the next generation would be. Maybe you could describe some patterns, like it goes up and then it goes down, but anything more specific soon fails. Now here's where the really wild part of chaotic systems show up, because this